It's 4.30 in the afternoon and I'm already yawning. Hey, what's up, BookTube? It's Bobby, aka Pigeonator, and I'm here today with a mail time slash unboxing slash what the heck did I order video. Um, I always feel like for some reason I need to justify my purchases, and I'm not going to do that anymore. So if you're going to nitpick about what I spend my money on, then have a nice day looking at someone else's channel. All right, we are going to start with a package from Rosie Thorns 88 This is an Etsy shop. She is an amazing artist and does bookish prints and things. And this is something that I have been wanting to do for a long time. And yeah, her art is so beautiful. We're starting with a Pride and Prejudice inspired print. And it comes with a certificate of authenticity. It, it, isn't that gorgeous? We have Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy, and um, the title of it is Most Ardently. Um, Rosie Thorns 88 is the um, name of the Etsy shop, um, and I will try to link that in the space below. But the certificate, like I said, does come with it, so you know that you're actually getting a real print from the artist and not just something that someone printed out online or something. And um, her logo is also down here, limited edition, um, 56 of 500. So you even get a numbered print. Very, very cool. And just, oh. I have a section of my personal home library that is Jane Austen themed. And I'm working on decorating that up a little bit more. So this is definitely going to be framed and added to that area. The other print that I ordered from her is called So Many Books, So Little Time. This is a larger size, but I will bring it closer and just kind of take you through different areas. So you can see the hourglass, and then there's a girl in the bottom trying to read, and then there's all these other books falling on her and just clunk on her head. Uh, yeah. If... If you're not fully grasping why this artist is so amazing, go check out her shop. Once you like look for yourself at the work that is put into this and just, oh, it's amazing. Oh, and yes, we do get also the certificate and the numbered and little thing here. This is number 19 of 500. Up next, we have this long box. Um, this is from Cal L. I decided to subscribe to their box in lieu of, I don't know what, oh, um, the real bookish box. And so Cal L is a fandom subscription, and I wanted to do something that wasn't books because, one, I'm way behind on my TBR, like seriously, and two, the semester of grad school is kicking my butt. If I'm very lucky, I might get to read one for fun book this week. Which is weird for me because usually I read at least two books a week. If not more. So anyway, um, cal box. Long tube-like box. And let's see what we have inside. Maybe. Da -da -da. Okay, so we start with a Hogwarts print. Oh my gosh, this box is themed for Harry Potter. How perfect is this? Um, this month's Venom is Harry Potter, and then it says spoilers on the back, so I'm going to set that to the side for a minute. We have a Hedwig print. That's very cute. She's sitting on a stack of books. My students, my students, my students, they love for me to give away stuff and I'm sure that some of them are going to be going, um, have you got any more Harry Potter stuff to give away? Depending on the quality of this, I'm probably going to say no, because I'm going to be selfish and keep it to myself. Ooh, random side note, the shirt that I'm wearing today, I love this so much. It says, Jack Sparrow is my Patronus, which is mixing two of my favorite fandoms. Genius. Okay, oh, there's a wand in here. That's why the box is so big. There's a wand in here. Uh, okay, calm down. Calm, girl, calm down. Mm. Okay, let's 
do this stuff first and then we'll get to the wand. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. Oh, oh. Whew. Breathe. Okay, undoing the tissue paper. I have gotten boxes from kal -El before and they do really fun jewelry kind of items. And the first thing I'm seeing appears to be a lanyard, I'm guessing. As I just throw that plastic on the floor. That I clean every week, I promise. Yes, we have Harry Potter. Oh, why is that upside down on both sides? Okay. So the brand logo and then the four houses across there. And it has a little clip and whatever this thing is. Um, somebody you probably will know and you guys will tell me. Maybe that's to like hook this onto something else. Anyway, lanyard. Always useful. Oh. <gasps> Wait till you guys see this pin. I'm going to take it out of the plastic for a better viewing. It's Phoenix Tears. It says Hogwarts Potion Department in little tiny, tiny, tiny letters just above the Phoenix Tears. So if you're wondering what that is, that's what it says there. Aww. Box. I kind of feel like tonight might be a night to start a Harry Potter movie marathon. You can't do the whole thing in one day plus work and responsibilities, but with the homework that I'm doing, I need some background noise and I don't have to pay attention to what's on the screen because I know that movie so well, so perhaps I'll just stick in a Harry Potter film or two tonight. All right, what else do we have? We have a little trading card from Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, and it is Miss Luna Lovegood, my favorite Ravenclaw. I am a Ravenclaw, just FYI. A lot of you are like, yeah, girl, we already know. We have a magnet that is also Luna-themed with her famous quote, Don't worry, you're just as sane as I am, and her beautiful glasses. Sorry, that's not wanting to focus very well when it zoomed in. One of these days I'm going to get a nicer camera, but who has money for that kind of stuff when you keep buying this kind of stuff? We also have a pouch of goodies. Yes, there's so much more here. And most of these items appear to be wrapped in plastic, so I will remove them from the plastic before I hold them up for you. We have Luna earrings with her glasses again are they spectra specs is that am i thinking of the right thing or is that somebody else's glasses i do not recall all right we appear to have a bracelet and we'll pull this out and take a look we've got a heart does that have words on it Page 394. <laughs> Yay! Professor Snape. So the heart says page 394 and then this glittery jewel on the other side here. And this is like an adjustable cuff kind of thing. So even on my chunky wrist, it can still be worn. Da -da -da -da. That's cute. I laugh every time I see a reference to that moment and if you're not sure what that means just google the words page 394 and see what comes up if it's to do with harry potter you found the right thing oh wait till you guys see this necklace always so if i can get it to hold still we can see it better we do have the three little stars um like we see on the pages in the American version of the books. There we go. Another thing to remind us of Professor Snape. Complicated man. I do like him though. All right, we have a wand. Now, as I lifted it out, I could see there was a label on the end. I wanna see if I can figure out who it belongs to before I see the label. 
we have had some items inspired by Luna. We have had some items inspired by Severus Snape. Is it going to be one of those characters or someone else? Let's take the lid off and... <gasps> it's Luna's wand! It's Luna's wand! <gasps> I'm so glad it's what I know! Luna's wand has the tulip on the end. So it's got this lovely like tulipy floral piece on the end and then very just smooth all the way down. I do prefer wand replicas that have a little bit more of a pointy tip on them, but this is rather nice and I can put this on my wand stand um, on my Harry Potter shelf. There's something, there's a little bit of something stuck here. Can I get that off with my finger now? Moving along because we have more packages. All right, we've got a few, a couple of Amazon items and if I am correct, in my memory, this is the boy, the mole, what else is in that title? Let me get the box open. I don't know why they make these perforated boxes and then just put the labels over top of the perforation so you can't use them to get the box open. Yes, the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. A lot of people have been talking about this book on BookTube. It is a children's book. It is illustrated, and it should be something I can just sit down and read tonight. Look, this doesn't even have any words. Do you think I can get my middle schoolers to read this book where some of the pages don't even have any words? Probably not. Okay, moving on. There's this book. Um, I know that other YouTubers have done a more detailed review of this, so if you want more information on what this is, I'll let you consult theirs because I already know this video is going to be a long one, and we're just going to move on. Podcasts are dangerous. I was listening to one the other day um, featuring the author of the books that are in here and impulsively ordered these three books by her. So the author in question is Tiffany Schmidt and she has a series of bookish boyfriends. They're very clean, cute romances. They're oh, so much fun. Um, a Date with Darcy is one and I already have that one. Um, so I ordered the other three in this collection. We have Get a Clue, and you can see Sherlock Holmes on the cover here, so that's going to be themed around mysteries. This one is Talk Nerdy to Me, and we have Anne of Green Gables down here. Oh, if you didn't know, A Date with Darcy is Pride and Prejudice themed. Sorry, I should have clarified that. And then this one, The Boy Next Story, and the book here is Little Women. When am I going to have time to read these? I don't know. Maybe one of these will be my one for fun book I get to read this week. Or maybe I should actually hit my actual February TBR. Things aren't going to be uh, good in that respect when we get to the February roundup or wrap up or whatever the heck I call it. Alright, so the last two boxes I have are from Spearcraft Book Box. I, again, spent money that... I didn't need to, but we're not going into all of that. Um, I got one of their past boxes from, I think it was last October, I want to say. I can't remember, but it was Phantom of the Opera inspired, the theme was. And it, they just had a past box in the shop. And they also had a couple of other items in the shop. So we have this that is the actual past box from one of their months. And then the other couple of items. So maybe we'll start with that first the other items and then come to the box she'll get my sword and open this sucker up okay so one of the item items I ordered was something else to help me with my Jane Austen section of my library and after I get this out of the plastic I will show you what we have we have a pillowcase that is all Jane Austen inspired we have some characters and words and it's just so cute Ugh, let me get a good look at it oh is that Emma and Mr. Knightley okay I should probably take some time to like read all of these words at some point but we've got a video to make like let's just scooch it on over and we'll take a closer look at that later okay now if I'm remembering correctly the other thing that I ordered was like kind of a grab bag you could pay like X amount of dollars and they'd throw in a certain amount of items so I really don't know what we're getting in this 
<laughs> William Shakespeare's Midsummer Night's Balm, um, chapstick, lip gloss, whatever, um, kissing cherries flavor. <laughs> and it says apply, but this and all is mended. That is a twist on a quote from Midsummer Night's Dream. If we shadows have offended, think but this, th and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. And then this week an idle theme, no more yielding but a dream, something something I can't remember. Handy item. Next we have a leather scroll. What is this? Okay, there's a coin on here that says 50 francs, like as in French money. Undo the leather strap here, and what is, oh my gosh, what is this? Okay, so as it unrolls, we've got pockets. So this is something you could keep um, pencils or pens or supplies in and then roll it up. And on the front side, we have a map. That's really beautiful. Hmm, doesn't have the best leather smell in the word world, but um, it is a really, really lovely item. I'm quite pleased with that. Okay, we've got another fabric item that's blue with stars on it. Okay, we have got a lovely diaphanous scarf here, blue with kind of, they seem to be kind of rosy gold stars. Isn't that lovely? I can use this for Instagram backgrounds too, like bundle this up and put a book on top of it or something if I'm not in the mood to wear it as a scarf. This doesn't really go with my Jack Sparrow Patrona shirt, but I don't care. We're going to wear it for a minute. I see socks. I always freak out over socks. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because you can never have too many clean socks. Like, it's always good to just get up in the morning and be like, oh, I've got clean socks today. That's awesome. These are astronaut socks. <laughs> so when I watch The Martian, I can put these on and there we go. They are men's size socks, which I really appreciate. A lot of times the women's socks don't fit me. Um, I have big feet. My ankles aren't even big, which might be surprising considering I'm a large size person, but my feet are large. My grandmother always says, you've got a good understanding. It's very punny. Oh boy, we have got a wallet. This is another thing that you can't have too many of because, yeah, you might only need one in your purse at a time, but what if you switch out purses or, and the wallet you're using doesn't go with that one? I have a wallet similar to this that I use just for my phone, like because I just want to protect my phone and, and I'm overly anxious about protecting my phone. This one, yes, it has the same thing on both sides. It has a Megan Spooner quote that says, I will call you beauty for that is what you are. Is this from, um, oh, I can see the cover in my head. It's got a green cover and it's Sherwood. Sherwood is the name of this. I think that's what this quote is from. And it is quite lovely. If we undo the zip, we can see there are several pockets in here. Oh, little foamy thing. And a strap. There are pockets for cards and a little change purse with a zip here and pockets for cards on the other side. So this would be quite useful. I'm definitely going to hang on to this. So, middle schoolers, I know some of you have discovered my channel. Kind of weird. But, no, I'm not going to give away any of this stuff so far. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is cute. Oh, my goodness, it's a light, too? Whoa. Okay. So, we've got this little house. It says good vibes only. And if I pull out the tab here and turn it on, does it work? Ah. Apparently, it does not work but it's supposed to turn on the light. So perhaps I'll have to just inspect and see if it maybe just needs a new battery in here. 
that would be really cute if it did light up. That that might be a good like bookshelf decoration or Instagram prompt prop prompt prop for pictures. Cute. I think I've seen some of these um, similar type of things at Dollar Tree actually. Nothing wrong with Dollar Tree, by the way. All right, here we've got another um, chapstick. This one has a ship on it, and it's sailing away. SPF 15 sunscreen. Um, it is by Net Brands from Houston, Texas. Oh, cinnamon. I was looking for a, a scent. Cinnamon. Oh, yep, it smells like cinnamon. It. Anytime I feel like I've just eaten some Red Hots, I'll put some of this on my lips. We'll be good to go. All right, here we've got a lanyard. So we've got the Harry Potter lanyard from Kal-El, and now we're getting a lanyard. Oh my gosh, this is Harry Potter thing too. <gasps> and not just any Harry Potter character. This is Luna Lovegood themed. Oh, I have so many Luna things now. That's so cute. It's very purple and very Luna. All right, this scarf has got to come off. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's got to be like a tea strainer. You put your loose leaf tea inside this swan and then put it in your cup of hot water and steep your tea. That's kind of cute. Do you know what it makes me think of, though? What's the name of that movie from, like, the 90s, I think it was, with Kirsten Dunst and a whole bunch of other, like, famous... Amy Adams was in it, I think, and... Drop Dead Gorgeous, about the beauty pageant girls, and the one girl dies in the belly of a swan. Oh! If you haven't seen that movie, let me just warn you, it's wildly racist. There are things to offend all kinds of people in that movie. So... You're forewarned. Okay, we've got a necklace here. It is a rune. Is this like an Egyptian rune? Or is this something like shadow huntery? Because my brain is telling me it's Egyptian, but my brain is often wrong about things. You guys help me out in the comments with that one. Or I could look it up later. I want to say it's called the Eye of Osiris. Have I had too much caffeine today? There's more in here. And we haven't even gotten to the regular box yet. Alright, we have got... What is this? Is this a bookmark? If everything wasn't wrapped in plastic, it would save me some time. But I understand why they do it. Okay, so this is a bookmark. So we have a feather, and then you kind of loop it over the spine of the book, and this part hangs on the outside. And it's got a, like a little flower blossom in there. That's kind of cute. However, full disclosure, I will say this is not like my go-to style of bookmark for sure. If I had a ranking system for bookmarks, it would probably be number one, magnetic bookmarks, two, wood marks, and three, I don't know, regular paper book bookmarks. I, yeah. All right, the last item in this box is some more socks. <laughs> and it has a magical read crate label on it, so I don't know if they like bought inventory for Magical Read Crates, Reed's Crate, or if they're like partners with them or something, but I get socks, so there we go. Um, this says, am I not merciful? Is this Illuminae? I don't remember. One of you guys will know, probably. That brings us to our last box in this video, which is the Spearcraft book box from sometime last year. We'll find out what month it was once we get inside. He's here, the Phantom of the Opera. And 
here it is. Okay, so July 2020, I was wanting to think it was October, but July 2020. Um, the theme is Music of the Night, and we have spoilers on the back. So once again, we'll set this off to the side and see what is in this box. We have a pouch with some jewelry in it, and I am thinking it's probably a charm bracelet. We'll take a better look once it's out of the plastic. Yes, it appears to be a charm bracelet. So let's see if I can do a non garbagey job of showing this. Maybe not. Hmm. How are we going to do this? Okay. Ballet slippers. A mask. Something we're all too familiar with now. A grand piano. This little medallion that says the Phantom of the Opera. The Phantom's mask. A rose. A red rose. Um, a violin. And a candelabra. Oh, come on. Be nice to me. There's a candelabra. And then interspersed, we have little beads and like trinketies. That's kind of fun. Charm bracelets I struggle with a little bit if they're on my right hand because I write with my right hand and they get in the way. So I also have to wear things on my left hand and that's not a big deal. It's, is what it is. Ooh, we have a bookmark. It says, I just want to break that song into pieces and love them all to death. <laughs> Say Rainbow Row quote. Aw, oh, cute. I haven't read anything by Rainbow Rowell in such a long time, and I love her book so much. I think I've probably read Fangirl like six or seven times. Don't care. Sorry, not sorry. What is this? Are you kidding me? It's a little speaker. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is can go with a phone, laptop, tablet, PC, um, or a micro mini card. Uh, you can connect a row of mini speakers to get jaw dropping audio performance. Huh. Let's take it out of the box and see what it looks like. Oh, it says Eleanor and Park on here. So that must be where that quote is on the, it's on the bookmark. That must be from Eleanor and Park, which I read when it first came out and have not re revisited since. Oh, uh, that's fun. So this is um, on the top here, and then we've got a nice base for it to sit on. We've got some plugins for the cord, so you can charge it up. Uh, volume control. Oh, this is fast forward and rewind. Interesting. Ooh, when you turn it on, it shines lights. Purchase note. Awesome! That is really fun. I'm going to have to think of a good place to use that. Alright, something inside of a something. So we have a zippered pouch here. And we have a twilight quote. And so the lion fell in love with the lamb. What a stupid lamb, I sighed. What a sick, masochistic lion. Edward is a jerk. That's all I'll say about that. But, cute pouch, and pouches are handy. I don't care if they have quotes from stupid characters on them. So next we have a little white box with no indication of what's inside. It feels like something solid that's like fits well in the box, I guess is what I'm saying. That gives us absolutely no idea of what could be in here. Because many things could fit in this box. Mystery of the gala night. Mystery of soprano's flight. Mystified. All the papers say we are mystified. This is a Victoria Schwab quote on a little uh, trinket dish. The beautiful thing about books was that anyone could open them. Very true. Hmm. That's cute. I quite like that. 
Okay, we have a signed book plate, which is going to go in the book, a note from the author, and the book itself, which is Ghostwood Song by Erica Waters. Anything that has to do with in the woods, not like the musical Into the Woods, but like being in the woods is cool. Plus, the box was Phantom of the Opera themed, so is that going to be related, or is it just the music of the night phrase and that music is related? We shall find out, I suppose. All right, so we'll start with the Dear Reader letter. It says, Dear Reader, thank you so much for giving Ghostwood Song a chance. I hope my story welcomes you in, wraps you up in its atmosphere, and keeps you in its grasp until the last page. I hope you find beauty and hope and resilience here. I hope you feel at home. Ghostwood Song is my first novel, and I poured so much of myself into its pages. The music I love, the landscape that shaped me, the ghosts that peer out of my own memories with hungry, waterful eyes. Oh, that says watchful eyes. That makes more sense. <laughs> Learn how to read, girl. Okay. Writing this novel cracked me open like a walnut. It made me the writer I'll continue to be. I hope that reading it will be just as meaningful of an experience for you. Happy reading, Trisha Waters. All right. So we're going to peel up this book plate and place it carefully inside the book. And we will also read the dust jacket so that we can learn a bit more about this novel it says if i could have a fiddle made of daddy's bones i'd play it i'd learn all the secrets he kept what the weird shady grove is her father's daughter through and through she inherited his riotous curly hair his devotion to bluegrass and his ability to call ghosts from the grave with his fiddle okay so i'm seeing phantom connections with the father and daughter and the father plays a fiddle or violin in the phantom case that cursed instrument drowned with him, though, when his car went off the road, taking with it the whispering ghosts, nightmares, and grief, and the grief and obsession that forced her daddy to play. But Shady's brother was just accused of murder, and so she has a choice to make. Unearth the fiddle and the nightmares that sang her father to the grave so she can speak to the dead and clear her brother's name, or watch the only family she has left splinter to pieces. The ghosts have secrets to keep, but Shady will make those old bones sing. Yikes. Where do these authors come up with these ideas? I mean, I don't know. Of course, being an aspiring writer myself, I have really weird ideas come to me for writing too. So I have no room to talk. Wow, this was a lot to unbox and open today. I appreciate if you stuck with me. I'm going to steal a little uh, thing from Jesse from Bowties and Books. If you stuck with me for this long, drop an emoji for me. Let's pick... Um, let's keep it simple. Pick in a book, a book emoji. There are a couple there to choose from. Or if you fancy doing something a little bit more fun, an animal. And with that, we'll close up this video and wish you all a wonderful, magical, and bookish day. Happy reading. Adios.